Hey, this is Prack with Iron Pram D, and today we have a Mavic Air controller that the customer stuck in the uh, charging port the wrong way, so it jammed. So the micro USB, if you insert it invertly, it will break the connection, then you cannot connect to your smartphone or charge the controller. So this is a dead controller. And what you're gonna need is the new board. This is the new daughter board for the Mavic Air and it has the USB charging port built into it. And then you'll need the tool set. This is a tool set that for repairing a drone and controller that you can get from my website, okay? So stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead and put everything in place. For this repair, we'll need the H2 bit, and then we'll need the Philip Zero bit, okay? Let's go ahead. First thing we need to do is go ahead and open up the controller. The access, the access bay, there's two slots here, there's two port that uses the hex, the H2 bit, and that's how you access the controller. All right, so let's go ahead and take that out. All right, let's go ahead and put a screw in there. Okay, now just go ahead and you can just pull this out. Should come out fairly easy. There you go. Again. And now with this, you just go ahead and just carefully snap it off. So now you have this controller plate off. From there, you will see there are two fillet. So let's go ahead and switch the bit. Let's put the fillet in. Okay. Take the fillet. Screw right here. Again, fillet one right here. And now what we need to do is go ahead and carefully remove the ribbon cable. That's to the uh, joystick. Now that is removed. And then all you simply do is just push this up. There you go. You push this up. Now you have the board that we're going to replace so we're going to go ahead there's one two three four five six there are six phillips that we're taking out so this is a six phillips one two yeah the screw is magnetic the, the, the bit is magnetic, so you can just pick it up and just drop it. It's really easy to take apart. I recommend this tool to anybody who's repairing the drone. Plus it has a telescoping telescoping bit, so when you get into the Phantom 4, where it requires more clearance, you can do it. You can adjust. I love this tool set, and you can get it from my site. And again, if you need the uh, Board for the controller, just get it from my site. We only use OEM parts. All right, now that you have that, we there's two small Phillips right here with the bracket that we're taking out. Okay. And then we want to leave one bracket in. Actually, we're taking both because we're replacing the whole board. All right. Okay. 
And now disengage the connection. As easy as that. Pull it out. Take the bad board out. And now let's go ahead and put the new board in. This is the new board. Go ahead and seat it just right. The controller. Okay, everything is nice and seated. Let's go ahead and put in the five screws first. The six screws hold in place. Six Phillips. One. Two. Four. Five. And the sixth one right here. Six one. You can go ahead and plug in the controller connection. This is the ribbon cable from the main board to the daughter board. All right, so now let's go ahead and put the bracket back in. This is the bracket to hold it. Put it in place. Right there. And then the tiny Phillips that holds it in. All right. There we go. Oops. Carefully hold it into place. Right here. Then the other one. Oops. There we go. And then this came off. Let's go ahead and put it back into place here. Actually, no, that belongs there. Take that out. We don't need that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put shell back in. Top shell back on. And that should snap on. Okay. There you go. We got some charge left on it. Power down, so you know the control is working. Let's go ahead and put the. We need to put the ribbon cable back in for the two joystick. Okay. And this is the other one. Let's go ahead and push it in. All right. Now let's go ahead and to put the two Phillips into place here. All right. To fill it into place. And fill up here. All right. Oops. You gotta make sure the snap is just right in order to hold it. Let me go ahead. Make sure it snaps into place like that. See now. 
I'm adding a little pressure so the two hold a line. Now the other fillet, right here. Okay, squeeze and put it in. Let's go ahead and put the shell back on, the back shell. This just snaps right in. So all you do is line it up and squeeze it all into place. Make sure everything is snapped. All right. So now let's go ahead and put the port uh, cover, which is right here. And put the other one in. And then we're going to switch over to the hex H2. There we go. H2. Back in. And then the other one into place. All right. So now we have that done. And now let's go test the charge on it. Okay, so now that we have this done, let's go ahead and test the charging port out. Make sure it works. Go ahead and put it in here. Make sure it's not inverted prop properly. There you go. You see it is charging. Anyways, this is Prack with IRPMD Safe Flying and Safe Repair.